we have to verify that the numbers given alongside of cubic polynomial are their zeros. This is the cubic polynomial. 1 half 1 and minus 2. We have to verify that these are the zeros of this polynomial. So we have P 1 half. Now instead of x we will substitute 1 half. So 2 into 1 half cube plus 1 half square minus 5 into 1 half plus 2. 2 into 1 half cube when 2 into 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 4 minus 5 upon 2 plus 2. 2 are the 2, 2 4 the 8. Therefore, 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 minus 5 upon 2 plus 2. Now, 1 half plus 1 half. 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. 1 half. 1 half plus 2 means 5 upon 2. Minus 5 upon 2 is equal to 0. So, P with 1 half. 1 half is the 0 of this polynomial. Now, let's take x equal to 1. So, P 1 so, 2 into 1 cube plus 1 square minus 5 into 1 plus 2. 2 into 1 cube, 1, 1 into 2, 2 plus 1 minus 5 plus 2, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. P minus 2, so 2 into minus 2 cube. Plus minus 2 square 5 into minus 2 plus 2. 2 into minus 2 cube. So 2 into minus 8 plus 4 plus 10 plus 2. 2 into minus 8 is equal to minus 16 plus 4 plus 10 plus 2. That is 16 is equal to 0. So, from this, what we verified that 1 half, 1 and minus 2 are the zeros of the polynomial. Now, next, let's find the relation between zeros and the coefficient. As these are the zeros of the polynomial means this is alpha, this is beta and this is gamma. So, our zeros of the polynomial 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2. Comparing this with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b. Therefore, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, c is equal to minus 5, and b is equal to 2. Now, first, alpha plus beta plus gamma, that is 1 half plus 1 minus 2. 1 half plus 1 means 3 upon 2 minus 2 that is equal to minus 1 half. Now minus 1 half means nothing but minus b upon a. 1 that is b. 2 that is a. Minus b upon a means what? Coefficient of square term coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x cube minus next alpha into beta 
प्लस बीटा इंटू गैमा प्लस गैमा इंटू अल्फा ना अल्फा इंटू बीटा वन हाफ इंटू वन प्लस बीटा इंटू गैमा दैट इज वन इंटू माइनस टू प्लस गैमा माइनस टू इंटू वन अल्फा दैट इज वन हाफ वन हाफ माइनस टू माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस वन माइनस थ्री वन हाफ माइनस थ्री सो वन हाफ माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव अपॉन टू नो माइनस फाइव मीन्स वॉट कोई फिश ऑफ एक्स दैट इज सी एंड टू टू इज नथिंग बट कोई फिश ऑफ एक्स क्यूब दैट इज टू That is a. So c upon a means what? Coefficient of x upon coefficient of x cube. So is equal to coefficient of x upon coefficient of x cube. Now next step. Alpha into beta into gamma. Alpha into beta into gamma. That is one half into one minus two. One half into one into minus two minus two minus two cancel. Is equal to what? One. One. Now we can write this as minus one. We can write this as minus two upon two. Minus two means constant term. Constant term two. Upon this, so is equal to minus constant term d upon a. Minus d upon a means what? Constant term upon coefficient of x cube. So do you understand this? Plus gamma that is two plus one plus one 
is equal to what? 4. 4 we can write minus of minus 4 upon 1. Here minus 4 is what? Minus 4 is B. 1 is what? A. So minus B upon A. Minus B coefficient of X square and A is coefficient of X cube. So minus B upon A. Second, alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha. So alpha into beta that is 2 into 1 plus beta into gamma 1 into 1 plus gamma into alpha that is 1 into 2. Therefore, what? 2 into 2, 2 into 1, 2 plus 1 plus 2 that is what? 5. 5 means what? Coefficient of x. So that is 5 upon 1 is equal to c upon a. c means what? Coefficient of x and a is what? Coefficient of x cube. Now next step. Alpha into beta into gamma. So alpha into beta into gamma that is 2 into 1 into 1 that is 2. Now 2 we can write that minus of minus 2 upon 1. But minus 2 is what? D. And 1 is equal to A. That is minus D upon A. That is minus constant term upon coefficient of x cube. So do you understand this? Next example. What? Find the cubic polynomial with sum sum of product of its zeros taken two at a time. That is alpha plus beta, beta plus gamma, like this. And the product of is 0, that is alpha into beta into gamma. These are given. This is sum of zeros. Do you understand? This is product of zeros. And this is sum of product of is zeros taken two at a time. So here, let the polynomial be Substituting 
the values a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus b into k. So k into bracket a is what one. So one x cube b is what minus two plus minus two x square plus c minus seven into x plus d that is fourteen. So k into x square minus x cube minus two x square minus seven x plus fourteen. Taking the suitable value of k, so taking k is equal to one. One such cubic polynomial is one into x cube minus two x square minus seven x plus fourteen. That is x cube minus two x square. Minus seven x plus fourteen. So do you understand this? Take a look. If the zeros of the polynomial x cube minus three x square plus x plus one are a minus b, a and a plus b, means this is alpha, this is beta, and this is gamma. We have to find the value of a and b. Let the Given polynomial x to minus three x square plus x plus one. Compare this with a x to plus b x square plus c x plus d. Generally, we take small letter, but already a and b these letters are used here. Therefore, we use a capital B capital C capital and D capital. Now we know alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to what? Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to what? Minus b upon a. But alpha means a minus b, beta means a, and gamma means a plus b. So substituting this value, so a minus b plus a plus a plus b is equal to minus b means what? Minus b means this. So minus minus three upon a. A is what one. Next, now a minus b plus a plus a plus b is equal to minus minus three plus three. So minus b plus b cancel. So three a is equal to three. Therefore a is equal to three upon three. That is one. So we get this value. Now, next, we know alpha into beta into gamma is equal to what? Minus b upon a. Minus b b is what one? So that is minus one upon a one. But alpha plus beta plus gamma means what? A minus b. Into a into a plus b. Now substitute the value of a. That is one. So one minus b into one into one plus b is equal to minus one. So one minus b into one plus b. That is one. Minus b square is equal to minus one. Taking this one to the right side, so minus b square is equal to minus one minus one. 
that is b minus b square is equal to minus 2 b square is equal to 2 taking the square root of both the sides therefore b is equal to plus minus root 2 therefore value of a is equal to 1 and value of b is equal to plus minus root 2 so do you understand this next example if two zeros of the polynomial x cube minus 6 uh, x raised to power minus 6 x cube minus 26 x square plus 138 x minus 35 are 2 plus minus root 3 find the other zeros now the zeros of polynomial x raised to 4 minus 6 x cube minus 26 x square plus 138 x minus 35 are 2 plus minus root 3 therefore x minus 2 plus root 3 and into x minus 2 minus root 3 Therefore, x minus 2 minus root 3 and x minus 2 plus root 3. x minus 2 minus root 3. x minus 2 plus root 3. So, using the identity a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, x minus 2 bracket square minus root 3 bracket square. This is identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square using this identity. So, therefore, x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 3 that is x square minus 4x plus 1 is factor is factor of the given polynomial therefore by Division algorithm x raised to 4 minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35. So divided by x square minus 4x plus 1. Consider the first term of divisor and first term of dividend. So, x raised to 4 upon x square, that is x square. So, x square, x square into x square, x raised to 4, minus 4x cube plus x square, changing the sign, minus plus minus 0. Minus 6x cube plus 4x cube that is minus 2x cube minus 26x square minus x square minus 27x square plus 138x minus 35. Again consider first term of this dividend and first term of divisor. So minus 2x cube upon x square is equal to what? minus 2x so minus 2x multiply each and every term by minus 2x so minus 2x cube plus 8x square plus minus 2x Again changing the sign plus minus plus zero 
माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एक्स स्क्वेर एंड माइनस एट एक्स स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी फाइव एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट प्लस टू एक्स प्लस हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एक्स माइनस थर्टी फाइव थर्ड टर्म सो माइनस थर्टी फाइव एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी फाइव सो माइनस थर्टी फाइव नो मल्टीप्लाई एवरी टर्म बाय माइनस थर्टी फाइव सो माइनस थर्टी फाइव एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एक्स माइनस थर्टी फाइव अगे चेंजिंग द साइन प्लस माइनस प्लस so cancel zero so other factor is what so other factor is x square minus 2x minus 35 put in x square minus 2x minus 35 is equal to zero So x square minus seven x plus five x minus thirty five is equal to zero. Factorizing, so x into x minus seven plus five into x minus seven is equal to zero. So x minus seven and x plus five is equal to zero. Therefore, x minus seven is equal to zero. X is equal to seven, or x plus five is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to minus five. So other zeros are seven and minus five. Hence, other zeros are seven. And minus five. So do you understand this? Now, next example. If the polynomial x raised to four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus twenty five x plus ten is divided by x square minus three x plus a comes out to be x plus a. Find a and k. Comes out to be x plus a means what? This is the remainder. Now. Let's apply division algorithm to the given polynomial. So, x raised to four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus twenty five x plus ten. Divide it what x square <coughs> minus two x plus ten. <coughs> Consider the first term of dividend and first term of divider. That is x raised to four upon x square equal to x square. So first term of quotient is what x square. Multiply each and every term by x square. So what x raised to four minus two x cube plus k x square. Now change the sign minus plus minus. This is cancel for there for zero minus six x cube plus two x cube that is minus four x cube sixteen x square minus k x square that is plus sixteen minus k x square minus twenty five x plus ten. Now again consider the first term of this and first term of divisor so minus. 4x cube upon x square is equal to minus 4x. So second term of the question is what? Minus 4x. Now multiply each and every term by minus 4x. Therefore, minus 4x cube plus 4 into 8x square. K into minus four x minus four k x plus zero here. Changing the sign plus minus plus zero.
zero sixteen sixteen minus k minus eight so sixteen minus k minus eight that is what eight minus k so what plus eight minus k x square now twenty five x plus four k x so minus twenty five plus four k x so if we take minus as a common then we will write minus into bracket four minus k x this and this step carefully minus twenty five x plus four k x so taking minus twenty five plus four k x if we take minus sign as a common so minus five minus twenty five plus minus four k x so this step x plus remainder ten now let's consider this term and this term so what a minus k x square upon x square x square x square cancel a minus k so next term a minus k now multiply each and every term by a minus k so plus a minus k x square a minus k into minus 2x so minus 2 into x minus 2 into x minus is equal to plus in bracket minus 16 minus 16 minus 2 into minus k plus 2 k x product of this so what plus 8 k minus k square again change the sign so what is our next step minus 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 so zero now let's carry out this subtraction See this subtraction minus twenty five minus four k minus minus sixteen plus two k. Simplify this minus twenty five plus four k plus sixteen minus two k. Twenty five minus twenty five plus sixteen minus nine. Plus four k minus two k plus two k. So here what is remainder? Minus nine plus two k x. Now this term. Let's see this term. Ten minus eight k minus k square. Ten minus eight k plus k square. That is what k square minus eight k plus ten. So what is the term here? K square minus eight k plus ten. So now degree of the remainder is less than degree of divisor. Therefore, we shall stop here. So remainder, remainder is equal to what? Minus nine plus two k x plus k square minus eight k plus ten. But given remainder is what? Given remainder. What is the given remainder? X plus k. Comparing. Coefficient of x and constant term. 
how many? 1. So compare with this. So minus 9 plus 2k is equal to 1. So 2k is equal to 1 plus 9. 2k is equal to 10. k is equal to 10 upon 2. That is 5. So what? k is equal to 5. Now, this constant term a. So k square minus 8k plus 10 is equal to k. Substitute the value of k. What is the value of k? 5. So 5 square minus 8 into 5 plus 10 is equal to k. 5 square 25 minus 40 plus 10 is equal to k. Simplify this. 25 plus 10, 35. 35 minus 40 minus 5 is equal to a. Therefore, a is equal to minus 5. So, do you understand this?